dear friends. In this incredible moment of human evolution, we can clearly feel the beginning of the meeting of new tribes on the planet. Every day, in more places in the world, the collective awakening is recognized by the masses, and events such as the recent Super New Moon are celebrated in many ways. There are parties, ceremonies, rituals, moon dances, women's circles, groups of men, collective meditations and more. Activities that may lead to the revelation of beautiful relationships, intense energetic connections and, for some, the emotional entanglements and lack of clarity about your personal energy field. On a daily basis, I have the opportunity to find beautiful and incredibly talented magical people around the world, many indigos and crystal children, who often report a feeling of being lost in the crowd when they interact with groups. Many seem unable to keep space for own energy field, when collective energies are strong and oppressive. A feeling that is triggered by a disconnection of the emotional body and the physical body, or energy body and the physical body. At the same time, there is every day more people connected with the higher frequencies of the universe these days, and as a result, become more sensitive to the impact of collective energy in general. Moreover, the biggest problem of the crystal children are born with a greater inner clarity of our collective unity in energy level. And the indigo children are emotionally very sensitive to the collective feelings, because they are guardians of the energy field of the age of humanity gold. This makes it more difficult to deal with their own energy in large groups. The crystal children have a special relationship with space and with equality. This makes the challenge of not becoming angry when faced with provocative behavior or ignorance of people by collective needs. When weakened spiritually, it stirs your heart and makes them relax their power in relation to others. Here are some simple techniques to take back their shares when lost in the energies of the collective. 1. Where to find in a crowd, with a feeling that they do not know where your body begins or ends if you cannot identify your feelings as separate from the collective emotional body, or feel that your mind is involved in conversations that are alien to the ways that you normally think, your conscious breathing is what can quickly separate them. Our breathing allows you to have the feeling of being in the one in the oneness. As the veil between all of us is fading more and more, and we are heading to recognize us again, it is our breath that will lead us home. So put your hands on your body. You can embrace themselves, or put one hand on the belly and the other in the chest. To press a bit their arms, so that they can really feel your physical body with every breath you take. Breathe with mouth open, deep in the belly. Make sure you do feel your feet on the ground, to increase pressure on the body, if necessary, and repeat in your mind every breath I take, I bring my full consciousness for my physical body. 2. Another practical tool, super efficient and always available to get control over your energy body is whisper. Take a few deep breaths and begin to whisper a sound repeatedly. Try not to make it a melody, just a sound. Not for others only for the recognition of your body, like sound. Try not to think about what other people might think. There is nothing embarrassing about it. It is easily and no one will care. You can be as soft and gentle with this practice as they wish, really as inner whisper, more intensely the energy will flow. If the public is a business meeting or if you are giving a speech in public, try to do it the next time you go to the toilet. Lock him up in a cubicle and whisper. Be patient and kind. Take your time and give yourself the luxury of music in your life. Certainly, they took longer to get this state you are aware, therefore, kindly speak about themselves in your mind while waiting for the past irritation. 3. If your audience is those friendly and you feel free to seek help from a neighbor, ask someone for a hug. Be very clear in communicating about their current need. Explain that need a tight hug and you need to breathe in his arms until they realize that all your senses are returning to your body. Ensure that they are well understood in that there is no sexual tension involved if any ulterior motive in the mind of his assistant, that energy can even have a more annoying effect on you, in a moment of vulnerability and need. Choose wisely. When you are in your embrace, you must make sure that your feet are paired with each other and completely touching the ground. Make certain that your body is upright and your breathing can flow freely to the feet. If necessary, ask your embrace partner to put a firm hand against the bottom of his back. 
feel pressure in that part of the body, you automatically begin to breathe more deeply. Keep breathing deeply, if possible, with a sound as you exhale, until they can feel fully present in the body. 4. In the case of being lost in the middle of an outdoor concert, a big festival or anywhere in nature, look around and probe the surroundings to see stones of hand size or larger rocks. The rocks are very tense manifestations of Mother Earth, which give you the power to anchor us. Take some stones the size of the hand in the handle. Make certain that your feet are on the floor and your legs are straight. Take a deep breath and focus on the weight in your hands. After a few minutes, you will feel the smoothing, anchoring and the effect of centering they have. If you can sit, do it. Take two stones size of your feet and step on it. At the same time put a large stone on his lap and let him feel your weight. Now, focus is on the rocks under your feet, begin to move your feet, just a little, and feel the different parts on the surface of the stone. This brings your awareness to the ground, and therefore its energy to the earth. The weight on your lap will work with you on it. To intensify the effect of this exercise, you can also combine your mind with breath and think of each exhalation I trust myself, I release, I'm absorbing. 5. All of the above techniques are very effective if you take your shoes. The rougher the ground, the better. If you have the choice between the soft grass and a little sharp stones, choose the stones. The minimum pain will remind your brain that you have a physical body and put in motion his power to call back all your senses to body awareness. To make the most powerful impact, remember that it is you are challenging. The feeling of getting lost often triggers the idea of being a victim of the situation. To remember its role as co-creators, you exclude from your karmic records immediately the energy impact of their thoughts, feelings and expressions of victimization, again. My dear, I hope you will be inspired and try these techniques. I hope you feel safe and well in these immense changes required of us these days. I am happy to know that you are on the road with me. Thank you for making the world a more beautiful place, with their effort and personal awakening. Love and Oneness